Hello everyone. Uh, in today's lecture, we will cover uh, uh, merge in SAS and we will see uh, what all can we do and why we need it. Uh, more or less, uh, this fulfills the concepts of RDBMS, which is Relational Database Management System. So what basically merge is all about? Uh, we can say in a single line, uh, this is nothing but a process of extracting any matching column or non-matching column between two or more tables, right? So this is what we call merge. So that, that depends uh, what all information do you need to pull from multiple tables and you want to store at a single place, right? So this is what we call merge and in other ways we say joins, right? In, uh, in SQLs, uh, we basically say joins. So the idea is to understand uh, based on some primary and a foreign key concepts like uh, what all information we need to pull out and that we have to decide whether we need uh, something that need to be present in both the table or more than the two tables or maybe we need something that shouldn't match or should not be present in a, any other table. So to identify and to cross check, right? So we come up with this concepts, match and uh, a merge, right? Now we do have other ways of, uh, you know, adding tables uh, that is known as append, which we have already covered in uh, our previous lectures, right? But today we are gonna understand merge in SAS uh, and how it works. So let's start. So uh, I'll, I'll first explain you the basic and the uh, background of uh, merge, how basically SAS, uh, reads the data this is very important the idea is not to uh, you know directly merge the tables and populate your output the idea to understand uh, how basically sas is doing or basically how it happens uh, when we actually write the you know match uh, uh, when we actually match the uh, merge the tables right so let's make a very small uh, table to understand it let's say table one here I'm gonna feed one variable, uh, let's say value one, and this is my cards. Let's say A, B, C, D, E. Let's say val, and uh, this is this is a let's say parameter, and this is a value, right? And the value is one, two, three four and five so let me make a kind of a similar table uh, let's say this is two uh, I'm sorry and I'm gonna keep it like this and this time I'm saying 11 22 33 44 and 55 and also I'll change uh, these values F G now we have two different table uh, I I want I see there is no as such connection in between but I just wanna uh, want to merge and want to see what will happen we will if we will do this right so let me execute it first and now I am uh, <coughs> going to merge this table let's say final so I'm using merge uh, with the table 1 with 2 and I'm not putting any by statement here right there is a reason of doing this I'll tell you in another example uh, what I will not use a by statement and what like it's like with and without by statement right I'm just simply merging it so what the idea is like to merge the one table with the two table and here I'm creating a final table so final table is nothing but the response of one or two based on some criteria though we are not giving any criteria so we'll see what what's gonna happen here right so I will simply print it data is my final and I'll run it now understand this <coughs> now when I will take this part in SAS and uh, it will start reading record by record. So uh, when we are reading this one, and uh, while we are reading at the same time two, so what will happen in this case, A1 will be there, then at the place of A1, what we will get? We will get F11. Now at the place of B2, we will get G22. And at the place of this, so likewise, uh, the data is going to overwrite. 
the last one so here we will not getting any uh, kind of a proper output what we were we are actually expecting so what in response of this merge we are going to uh, see the output of this uh, table as this table is going to replace this table so let me show you uh, now see this uh, oh I'm sorry that's my mistake I uh, should come as character now uh, <coughs> oh I did not execute it the whole command now see this so what the output is F G H I J 11 22 33 44 55 which is basically nothing but our table 2 now let me change the position uh, I'm writing oh, I'm sorry I'm writing 2 and then I'm writing 1 so what will happen if when I'll uh, when we'll execute this so we'll going to get the uh, output uh, which is uh, table 1 as an output let's see <coughs> right so basically SAS is trying to identify because we have not uh, used any by statement here and when we don't use any by statement here uh, in our code what happens basically it updates the value so how it updates the value so for example if I will write a here what will happen in that case this value of a will get replaced with the value of this updated value of a if I'm using uh, one here and two here in that case so if I'm getting a first value of this a1 then this value will get replaced with a22 so for example uh, it at this place uh, again I'm using a value of a so this uh, value is like is not going to impact uh, you know on any other so for a because the position is altogether different and we are not sorting this data uh, because we are not using any by statement as of now though this is uh, one of the primary thing in merge to you know sort your data your data must be sorted based on your by variable like the variable on which you wanna uh, merge the tables so as of now we are not uh, using any by statement so I don't mind uh, not required the data to be sorted let it be like this if I'm uh, sure about my data so when I'm using a1 here what will happen I will get a at this place but a value I will get 11 instead of 1 so let's run this and see and this will be replaced with h33 so it's, it's a kind of a same stuff so anyways we are replacing the values uh, like sas is replacing the values as uh, as not getting the things as a keyword so a is 11 uh, and g h i so there is nothing like this uh, as an output now when we will use a by statement here though the first thing first is like to sort your data so by what by is based on some your parameter so my parameter is my parameter pair right so by pair so when I'm using this so that's mean my data should uh, data sets should be sorted based on this parameter so let me add up uh, sort statement here so proc sort data I'm sorry data equal to one by per run let me repeat this state statement again mm -hmm. what I'll do here I'll just change the name of this data set right now here I'm gonna use uh, the by statement so the data set should be sorted so we have sorted now understand what will happen in that case I will get a and the value of this now this time when it will look for this one this will get replaced and again I will get a equal to 11 but b equal to 2 now this is not going to replace with this one because this time it's considering as a unique keyword right so this this is uh, this has to be unique so in case uh, to be unique it's going to replace with this one and again it will going to retain the value of uh, the latest one which is 11 here in this case so when we talk about the b1 so we do not have any such value of b in this data set so b is going to remain same as b will be at the value of uh, 2 as earlier if you remember it all uh, was getting replaced with the other ones right 
now this time we are using a by variable so what will happen in this case this values will not get replaced right <clears throat> so here actually you will uh, see an example where this merge will basically works like an append because every keyword is going to be a unique in this case other than the a right so uh, let's let's see and understand how the uh, how sas is going to populate the data based on this uh, uh, parameter which is uh, we are using uh, in by uh, statement so uh, let me explain you Uh, this a1 will get replaced with this uh, a1 a a11 we will get this output in uh, uh, the, we will this uh, we will get this output and b will remain there and this a this a will get replaced will not get replaced uh, but take a upper position uh, because we have sorted the data so we will get uh, this uh, value uh, which is a11 then we will get the value of the other a which is 3 and then we will get b2 then we'll get d something like this so we will actually could able to see uh, it's going to behave like an append as we have appended the data but uh, of course uh, that's not gonna be case it's just because uh, in this case their ids are unique so that is why sas is going to populate the data in that way let's see and understand now see this uh, a is taken at this position because we have sorted the data then we have a b and then a d like this and this time the values has not overpassed the other one they have not overfixed to the other values every values are basically coming what what uh, the difference here is like we are not getting a1 it's just because this a1 is already present in this uh, data set so for example if i'll write uh, somewhere here b so b uh, we cannot expect uh, the, uh, you know this final data to store the value uh, 2 is in b so this b is going to be replaced with this 44 because this b uh, is going to be a unique while we have two values uh, uh, you know in both the tables so we have done the sorting and then when we are using a a by statement what will happen this b is going to replace by this one so let's see the output and here uh, we will see a one uh, lesser observation as compared to the last one now see this earlier we had nine observations now we have eight observations and the value of b is 44 instead of 2 right so i hope you understand uh, what and how the merge is uh, working so this is very important to make you sure like uh, you know sa merge basically word keyword by keyword look it looks for uh, the keywords you know every time when it takes up the value and uh, this is uh, very important to use your by statement otherwise uh, you're gonna lost your values because if not something is like uh, uh, like because what happens uh, while using merge without the by statement it over it you know replace the values as we have already seen it and uh, i would recommend you to go back and uh, you know do pick up few other data sets and apply these concepts and try to understand in a better way uh, i'm gonna take another example where actually i can see show you like uh, how and why we need it uh, why we need the merge and how it basically works so we do have a lot of concepts based on merging which is one to one merging one to many many to one and many to many that is um, uh, based on the situation and uh, uh, like uh, how you want to formulate the uh, you know for your, your table to populate as an output right so uh, let me show you one uh, example uh, if i can create uh, one small data set let's say data data a because i don't want to waste much enough uh, much time on creating data sets let's say input id let's say name and area cards so now i have uh, created the two data sets now based on this we're gonna do some sort of things now what we do have here is like the id and the name and area of few of my employees 
and now in another table uh, there are information of the department number and the salary so let's say salary it could be anything right <coughs> now these are their salaries now this is what I have uh, as in uh, total right now here I want to understand uh, what is the salary of Pam or I if I want to you know drill the reports uh, the complete information for Raj or something like this or I want to say the employees uh, those you know data is not complete or we, if we do have a missing informations or if I have to see who all are getting uh, you know salaries and uh, like in, in a way I can say uh, I want to understand uh, the uh, I want to create a data set where I want to see the complete information for all my employees and at the same time I want to see if there are employees uh, but with, but their informations are not complete you know some inc incompletenesses uh, are there or or to identify other way around so more or less what we have to do here to join the tables and at the same time I can keep all the information in a one table then only I can understand uh, whether we have all the information of our employee or not and if, if we do not have so what all are the param parameters we are missing uh, with so the first thing first is to uh, sort our data so here we are going to sort our data and then we will uh, merge it now we have a lot of criteria uh, to understand based on what we want to merge the tables now uh, here we are using uh, id because id is common in both the tables so see we need at least one common variable to happen in both the tables or you know in more than the table what wherever we are applying the merge concept and uh, if it is not there uh, then we have to rename one of it uh, just make it to similar because in merge we use a by statement so by statement is nothing but you know there is a variable name that need to be give and uh, if we do not have a common variable it's uh, gonna create a problem and we'll be ending up uh, you know doing nothing in that case uh, so a uh, common variable is required in this case so here fortunately we have id id and same and if i if i could have written let's say employee id so in that case i uh, should sort with EID rather than the ID and then I need to go for the renaming things so it should be either ID or this should come as an EID so the name should be uh, same in both the cases right but here uh, we will go with this option as we have a common name which is ID and based on this uh, we will uh, do the sorting things so uh, <clears throat> As we have already seen, this is uh, not proc procedure, so we have we haven't used anywhere um, as in proc merge equal to like people get confused. So it's a kind of a procedure. No, uh, this is uh, happens in a data block, and uh, I'm using a keyword merge, right? So this is not something like this proc append equal to so proc merge equal to no. So don't get confused. Uh, this is not a procedure. So what we will do here, data. Let's say three or a b c so we have a and b and c so i'm creating a c out of a and b so merge let's say a and b right now by what based on your id by id correct now writing this much is not enough this time but uh, first i'll show you what will happen if we'll do this much and how to satisfy my criteria when i want to see all the complete information of my employees right as this data set is very small so we can easily see and can identi identify like uh, I do not have 33 but 33 is here so uh, you know when I am looking for the 11 one I cannot say like this is the complete information but in a case of uh, uh, 44 I can see and in case of 88 yes we do have and 22 yes so for these we have a complete information but for others may uh, we don't have now when uh, this is very small snippet very small data set it's very easy to identify and can figure this out but what if we have a lot of information which is merely not possible to go through you know uh, go through your data set and can check and uh, primarily this is not right way of doing this right so uh, 
I'll, I'll give you some uh, good way of doing this. So in a single glance, we could able to identify even, uh, you know, how even like the data set size is very huge or big, let it be. So let me execute this. <coughs> now when we are running this, uh, what uh, primarily we are trying to do here is to merge A and B based on ID, right? What will happen in that case, the a value is going to get overwritten with the existing values, which is 88 is here in this case also here, right? So we're gonna see all the information sitting at uh, uh, at this place, which is 88 in case of 22 also, and in case of 44, but uh, definitely will not get the, uh, you know, uh, more information in case of 11 and in case of this 33, right? Let's see. So let me print this out first and see now I'm running it uh, what happened uh, I did this something is wrong uh, let's go back to log and understand yeah look by variable ID is not on in uh, not on input data set work B but we have given ID Oh yeah, we have changed that later, right? See, this is what um, the consequences, uh, like when you don't have a common name. So name should be common, as in like uh, all the tables, and if it is not, so please make sure before running this, you can rename them, right? So I'm executing this now. This is your output. Now look, in case of 11, we do not have the department number and a salary is just because uh, uh, the 11, the employee of 11, which is Sam. So we don't have information of Sam as in, in which department he works or how much he's uh, getting as a salary, right? So this is a very, you know, single snapshot. This is a very uh, single way, uh, easy way to populate your data. And this is uh, good to know at the same time, rather fetching the data by, you know, putting some conditions or applying some logics. This is... Uh, you know one way thing uh, uh, doing in a smarter way of merging or joining the table so instantly uh, you know without uh, uh, any any confusion you will get to know about all the information whether they, they are isn't complete or incomplete so my idea is to pull only the complete information so what i'll do here i'll apply some filters uh, you know or i'll give some conditions so basically if uh, something like this if I'm saying uh, uh, like uh, Boolean concepts, I'll give uh, some Boolean concepts of, uh, uh, you know, zero and one combinations and we'll uh, talk to these table in that way. But before that, we need to create a tracking variables. Um, what basically we say here, operators in operators. So let's say A1 and uh, let's say in equal to b1 and name could be anything as you can suggest for your own convenience like as i have given a a1 for table a and b1 for table b so what i'll say here if a1 equal to b1 so i'm logically passing this condition if it is going to be true and it's going to be true so i could also write it like this if a1 equal to one and if uh, i'm sorry and if b1 also equal to one then only populate me an output right now see this in that case uh, we have 22 44 88 with the complete information that's mean they these uh, employees are available in both the tables from where i'm pulling the information which is a and b now uh, if we can write in another way let's say uh, if a equal to b so that's when it's the same thing right we can uh, i'm sorry it should be a1 and this should be b1 right now look <coughs> no information in this one right so i hope you have uh, uh, enjoyed this session and learned something more about uh, a merge and uh, in my next uh, next lecture i will 
uh, include some more example with the concepts of uh, one to many many to one and many to many things and we will explore what all we can do at this level uh, but i would um, suggest you to make changes at this level and uh, you know see how you can populate your output uh, in a different way and in a different manner uh, all right guys thanks very much for your time see you in the next lecture bye bye